Good morning from Mission Control Houston and welcome to today's International Space Station update. The crew of Expedition 34 are hard at work at a full day of uh, quite a bit of maintenance and experiment work. Starting off with Commander Ford, he uh, began his day doing a glove exchange inside of the station's Biolab glove box. Uh, just a routine uh, replacement of those gloves that keep the astronauts safe while conducting experiments. Following that, he started getting some components ready for the annual uh, removal and replacement work on the uh, waste and hygiene compartment. He and Chris Hatfield will be working extensively on that today, removing some of the urine components. Aside from that, Ford is spending uh, quite a bit of time right now over in the combustion integrated rack. He's replacing hardware for the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus. It's uh, one of the combustion facilities on board the station for performing different uh, uh, controlled explosion and uh, fire uh, and burning and suppression of solids experiments in a controlled environment, uh, taking advantage of that microgravity. Moving on, our Russian cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky is performing the Russian bar experiment, which is an ongoing uh, look into the selection and testing of different methods uh, for tracking any potential depressurization on board the International Space Station. He was joined in that by fellow Russian cosmonaut Evgeny Turelkin. Aside from that, doing some maintenance ops uh, on board the station, removing and replacing one of the overlay panels inside of the Russian service module. And meanwhile, Evgeny Turelkin again is giving Oleg Novitsky a hand with that bar experiment, looking for different means of depressurization and also uh, lending a hand in replacing that overlay panel. He was also taking some photos of the ongoing plasma crystal experiment, which has a study of growth of plasma dust structures inside of zero gravity. That experiment was being run by our third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko. Again, that plasma crystal, a fairly complex look at studying the uh, behavior of particle clouds and also the uh, structure of different plasma dust crystals. Aside from that plasma crystal experiment, Romanenko is uh, working inside of the 49 Progress vehicle today, removing some of the cargo loaded on, and also transferring some uh, trash and disposal items back in as well. Moving on, uh, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield is uh, spending quite a bit of time today over in that water waste and hygiene compartment. Uh, they're doing an uh, annual overhaul of uh, all of the urine components inside. He'll be replacing the urine valve block and also a number of the urine lines and pressure sensors and also the WHC's flush water tank uh, empty pressure sensor. Aside from that WHC work, he was working with the reversible figures experiment, which looks to investigate whether the perception of different figures is affected while these astronauts are in that microgravity environment. Then our final Astronaut on board the station, NASA crew member Tom Marshburn, was continuing some work he did yesterday with the environmental health system, setting up some acoustic dosimeters. This looks to uh, track and study the sound loads throughout the station to make sure that it's all within acceptable ranges for these astronauts on board. And then finally, he'll be working with the capillary flow experiment today. It's a fluid physics experiment looking to investigate how various fluids move up surfaces in microgravity. The results hoping to eventually improve current computer models that are used by designers down here on the ground as they continue to develop low gravity fluid systems and could potentially improve the fluid transfer systems for both water and fuel on future spacecraft.